What's up, Fight Fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. Today, I want to discuss this Saturday's co-main event in the UFC, but before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly to help the channel grow. All right, guys, getting right into it. We got Brian Battle taking on Andre Lusa in the welterweight division. In a sneaky good co-main event, guys, you got Brian Battle, who's been a fan favorite since bursting onto the UFC scene, winning the Ultimate Fighter over Gilbert Urbina, who's rattled off. He's a, a 5-on-1 record in the UFC, having flash knockouts over guys like Takashi Sato, Gabe Green, and a submission victory most recently over AJ Fletcher. His one blemish against Ren Renat Factor Redinoff, I think that's how you say his name, sorry if I botched that, was just a fight where he just, you know, it just shows how good Renat is and how good his wrestling is and where Brian Battle was at the time. I think since then he's worked on his wrestling. I don't think he was ready for that fight at, the, at that moment. Nobody kind of realized how good Renat was at that moment as well. He was 20-2, and two, but nobody really seen him perform like that. But he just dominated Brian from beginning to end in the wrestling department. But besides that one blemish, man, Brian's looked good. Always looking for the finish. Looking sharp, looking better each and every single time. Good striking. That combination where he had like that rear straight with the head kick right after against Takashi Sato was just sweet, man. And then the fight against Gabe Green, where Gabe went out there, put on the pressure, like, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go out there and try to end this quick. Brian Battle's like, oh shit. He threw out that perfect counter game with his back against the fence and everything like that. That was pretty phenomenal too. He was able to catch Gabe on the chin, man, and just fucking put him away 14 seconds into the very first round. I like what Brian has been able to do so far within the welterweight division. I like his attitude. Really good energy type fighter. But against a guy like Lusa, man, Lusa, he he's a dark horse at welterweight. He you know, this is his fourth fight, two and one. He's coming off of that fight against AJ Fletcher. No, not AJ Fletcher. Reese McKee before that was AJ Fletcher. But those his last two victories against Fletcher and McKee, he's a good man. Powerful, strong, fast, good everywhere, good wrestling. Good jiu-jitsu. Good, sh I mean, just, the guy looks good, damn, everywhere. Very slick, just a sneaky good fighter. His only blemishes in the UFC has been against Jack Della Maddalena, which, you know, hey, that's aged well for both guys. That's a good loss for him and a good win for Jack. I think that's kind of aged well for both of them, right? And, uh, Mounier Laziz, sorry on that stutter. But, um, Lusa, man, he... He's sneaky good. Nobody's really talking about him. That's kind of why this fight might be a really good coming out party for him. Especially where he has a recipe for success in this fight. His last fight against Reese McKee. A tall, long, and lanky guy for the division just like Brian Battle. Kind of a similar fighting style like Brian Battle. Not as good, obviously, but what Lusa was able to do with the distance, how he was able to close that distance, stay explosive and still land punishing shots, good combinations. At times he lets himself stay open. It's like he's like taking pictures. He like he has a good in but doesn't have a good exit plan. So he'll land a good combination but he'll leave his head open to get countered. And I've seen him hurt in pretty much all of his UFC fights so far. He's willing to take one to give two, willing to take two to give three. His chin is held up so far, but against a guy like Brian Battle, that might not, and especially as he climbs these ranks, that chin, man, you, it's it's it, it's a risky move to rely on it as well as he has. Because Reese McKee at the end of that third round, man, was punishing Lusa, man. If there, if there was a fourth or fifth round in that fight, that shit would have been interesting. And the fight against AJ Fletcher as well, he took some shots in that fight where you're just like, ooh, it's getting close, getting close, getting close. So he's got to tighten it up a little bit. He's got to keep those hands up, work on his defense, work on his head movement, his exit plan when it comes to throwing these combinations and getting out as well, right? But nonetheless, I like this matchup, right? I think Brian Battle, I think where he is right now, I think I think he'll, he's just sharp, precise, technical, Powerful, fast, tall, long, and lanky for the division. And I think that he's going to use all of that, the length, the reach, the distance, all that really well. And I think that he's going to catch Lusa coming in. I think Lusa, I think as dangerous as he is, as powerful as he is, and how well-rounded as he is, 
I think his lack of defensive awareness is kind of what's going to cost him here in the fight against Brian Battle. Um, but guys, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Do you guys think the loose is going to go out there and get another victory, make it three fights in a row, or is Brian Battle going to go out there and say, nah, man, it's my turn to keep rising in the welterweight division. Guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. Help the channel grow. Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go fight, guys.